And now join us here on the Inland Sports Show as we get ready for week three of the high school football season. These guys are coming off a couple uh, really big wins. We're going to get to that big rivalry win against Elsinore. And then, of course, t- that Temesco Valley, uh, Temesco Canyon game that they just came off of was pretty dramatic in the fourth quarter as well. We got the Temecula Valley Golden Bears on the show. And we're going to start with head coach John Bonaventura. A- and coach, man, listen, uh, when you look at the first three games of the season, You've had three really close teams. You've played three good teams. You had Liberty in that opener. You've played three good teams, three close games. You're two and one. What have you liked about this Temecula Valley team through the first couple of weeks? I like the tenacity. Uh, the, the kids just every week they improve. You know, they, they go back and they study the film and they look at uh, the corrections that the coaches and I, you know, put on our film and they learn from it and they come back, you know, the following Monday ready to go. Uh, I think that's the the big thing that's really impressed me the most about them is their eagerness to come back, you know, on a Monday after a Friday game, uh, you know, viewing film and, you know, picking one thing every week that we try to improve on. Uh, that, that's been the great thing for me is to watch them on their own of, of coaching one another, holding each other accountable and improving from week to week. So, Coach, going into the season, would you say this was – a team that was on the younger side? Was it a good mix of returning players and young guys? How would you kind of describe the the roster that you had going into the season? Uh, Very much so on the younger side. Not very much varsity experience. We lost a lot of seniors last year, a lot of senior leadership. Um, Kids that had played, you know, the varsity level for two and three years, you know, left. So this year coming in, you know, there wasn't a lot of O-line experience at the varsity, you know, level. Um, quarterback did not take any snaps at the varsity level last year. You know, we had the two guys that went on, you know, after the season. So very much on the younger side, very much, you know, um, the the part of kids needing to learn and understand the the speed of the varsity game. Mm -hmm. Speaking of learning the speed of the varsity game, the guy just to your left on the screen, right, Caden Christman getting his first varsity action and, uh, Caden, you, you know, you go into a game, it's a close game, and in the fourth quarter, your, your team needs a couple touchdowns. And, you know, what was that moment like for you, just being able to play such an important part in helping that team uh, gut out a, a very close win against Temescal Canyon? Um, it was a little nervous going in for the first few, play, few plays as my first varsity snaps in a game. But after that, I feel like I kind of settled in, had a few minor mistakes here and there. But I feel like towards the end as a team, we started to, like, come together – and everything kind of just was smooth sailing a little bit from there. And I felt like, all right, we just got to keep pushing, working hard as a team, and we'll just continue to grow. Now, Caden, I, I got video of those two touchdowns in the fourth quarter, and I had to watch them a couple times because I thought it was the same exact play. I thought somebody sent me the same clip twice, but it, but it was it the same play because it looked almost like the same spot on the field, the same route, the same throw. It looked almost exactly the same. So I think it was like two drives later, maybe one or two. It was to the same receiver, same guy. I think it was probably the same play, about the same yard line, and just threw it up, made my read look left, wasn't open. The corner was kind of playing a little off the ball. Corner was shaded down a little bit on the right. And I trusted my receiver and I knew he was going to get there if I threw it up and it worked. Turned out good. Yeah, turned out real good. Coach Bonaventura, I mean, what can you say about a, a freshman going out there and just throwing them in the fire and being able to produce like that? Uh, yeah, very true. Well, you know, we had the JV game the day before. So I was able to, there's the first home JV game because they're on the road and we tend to have a varsity practice while they're on the road, you know. Um, so having the ability to watch him on that JV game the day before, I saw his composure and his poise and, you know, and watching him throughout, you know, summer and fall camp. So when, you know, we needed an opportunity, we I felt we needed a spark. Um, you know, let's go with a young guy. You know, part of it was, I, you know, I felt he was ready to do what we needed to do, but also, you know, put it to the challenge of the offensive line of let's protect the rookie, right? So, um, you know, they stepped up, they did their thing. The receivers know that, they, you know, they got to go a little bit harder, you know, run a little bit crisper, you know, and, and try to help the, the, the rookie out. And it worked out, you know, it was exact same play, called the exact same time. You know, we just, it, it was just there. And I had confidence in that they would get it done. All right, coach, you were saying that this team, you know, leans to the younger side, but, 
you do have a little bit of experience, and we're talking about the Noah Watkins there on the far side of the screen. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Noah's been a beast on defense. Can you tell – talk before I get to Noah, can you just talk about what he means to this team and his experience, his leadership, and, and especially on the defensive side of the football? Oh, for sure, absolutely. The leadership, he brings that day in and day out. He never takes a rep off. You know, whether – you know, he plays offense, he plays defense, right? He's our long snapper. So, you know, his ceiling is high as he gets ready for the next level. We're just trying to, you know, find a spot for him. Uh, he brings it. You know, he, he doesn't ever stop, you know, bringing what he needs to do because, you know, for him, it's one is getting himself ready for a game. But it also makes the, our, our offensive line, right, or our defensive line or, you know, our cover teams, like they've all got to step up too or, or Noah's going to take advantage of them every day. And, you know, that, that's the reason that we have him in the spots that we have him, we, you know, he's just a, a tremendous leader. He's a quiet leader, but man, does, you know, does he bring the energy in the, in the motor when we need it during practice? So Noah, let me go to you. You know, you, you guys are coming off back to back wins. I know that Elsinore game is very important to you guys as well. Um, how do you feel about the team right now after back to back wins? Um, I'm feeling good. Uh, one thing with this team that I've seen since freshman year is we may not be the biggest, not the strongest, but we all have heart and we play for each other. And that's something that it's been cool to grow up with these past four years. And do you think that's important, especially when you get in close games? I mean, you guys have had three close games, you know, and it's coming down to the wire. Is that important that, you know, you've been through some fires with some of these guys and you can trust the guy next to you? I mean, is that is that important in terms of winning games and winning close games? It 100% is. Um, like I said, since I remember JV year, we got in a lot of close, tough games, and we were, we were able to stick together and end up pulling out. All right, Noah, I know you're a wrestler too, right? I am, yeah. And a pretty good wrestler. If you're watching the show, he, he's, a, he's a very good wrestler. Does wrestling help football and vice versa, like the two sports? Yeah, it 100% does. It Tackling, mental toughness, that's a huge one. Like, if you can't be mentally tough out there one-on-one -on, -one on the mat, then you can't really can't really do anything. Mm -hmm. What about even just, like, leverage-wise, you know? Like, re wrestlers, obviously, they're very smart as well. They're some of the smartest guys I've ever met. But just the way you can, you know, body control and balance and leverage and all those sorts of things. Yeah, it helps with your hands, helps with your feet. If you're able to feel the guy more going... You know, when he goes left, right, you can feel his body and really mess with him. Mm -hmm. All right, Coach, let me go back to you as we wrap this up. So, obviously, two big wins, but you got two really tough opponents coming up to get you ready for league play. You got Chaparral followed by Vista Marietta. Um, you guys will certainly be battle-tested by the time you get to league play. What are you just hoping to see from your team in the next couple of weeks? Growth. I just want to continue to see the growth. You know, each week, you know, we implement something new. We practice something new. You know, we have a plan, you know, so that we peak once we get into league. Um, you know, the preseason, you know, the first five games, yes, you know, you want to come out with as many victories as you can. But ultimately, you know, you've got to win your league. Right? You've got to win three or four games in your league to move on, you know, to get that CIF bid. So for, for us, it's just growth. You know, can we fix the little mistakes each and every week so that we're peaking, you know, when, well, we got two games and then a bye. So we've got three weeks, you know, to get to where we need to get, and, you know, make a run in our league. And that's, that's what I want to see is, is just a little bit of, of growth each and every week. And is that only magnified because you, you say you have like a, a younger team, like these, these games early on in the season might be a little bit more important than years, different year, different years or different seasons, just because these guys need experience. They need snaps. They need to be out there. I wouldn't say magnified, you know, I, I know where they are, you know, and it's not, um, you know, my job is to make sure that I maintain that level, you know, consistency, you know, not to expect too much. Yes, we are getting closer to the league and maybe, you know, I would like to see us a little further ahead, but I also have to be realistic and know where we are. And if I get to that point where I'm pushing a little too much with a younger group, then you get that, you know, that little bit of panic, that little bit of doubt, you know, and, and we, that's what we can't have is to have that so it's just implementing little things each week you know improving each week and then you know we've got three weeks to get you know the run plays down that we want you know the pass combinations down that we want the defense down that we want and you know to give us that identity we're still feeling out a few things on the identity part you know and i think in the next three weeks we'll have it down
That's awesome. That's a great answer there. Coach Bonaventura, I really appreciate the time. Caden Chrisman in the mid- middle of your screen. Noah Watkins over there on the edge. Guys, thank you so much. Congrats on uh, those uh, last couple of wins against Elsinore and Temescal Canyon. And uh, best of luck the rest of the season, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you much. Anytime. You got it. That's the Temecula Valley Golden Bears here on the Inland Sports Show. Inland Sports.